Hello and welcome back to the Reality Check video review. We're going to be looking at the Creality CR10 right over there where uh, Casper is hanging out next to it. And of course, uh, we've been uh, just doing a lot of the different updates with it with uh, using the Raspberry Pi as well as the dual shroud fan. And of course, you can see I've got the added supports there. So uh, one thing you'll notice right here when you look on the Raspberry Pi, it looks like they do have some new plugins right there for the Octoprint BL Touch and Polar Cloud, and just uh, some other things that you might want to be aware of. If you do use the OctoPi and Octoprint, there are some very awesome things here. If I go into the settings and I go down to where it says features, they've got uh, all kinds of different features that you can see. Uh, you can even do the API and stuff. Uh, they, of course, also have a plugin manager, and right here you can get, get more and you can just kind of search all the different plugins they have and you'd be surprised they've got all kinds of things automatic shutdown different themes of course they've got file management i mean they've got ways to send your prints to slack even uh they've got as you can see the, the enclosure the bl touch uh just really anything that you can kind of want to add to your printer really they make it super easy for it they even of course have uh, the ability to control your led lights through here uh, i choose to use mine through a separate source but you could do them through your pi as well so that's just one thing you definitely want to check out there when those updates are coming. So anyways, I'm going to go over here and look at the actual printer because uh, it's actually fresh right now. So uh, actually, I want to start a print. So to start a print, right now I'm starting a TPU print because I want to print something with flexible filament. So I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, something you see. Put him here. We'll put 10% fill and we'll make him a little smaller maybe. Oh, no, actually, that's not too bad. Once I've done that, I will just go ahead and drag and drop it in there. Once it loads, and click it, and then click print. And notice over here, it's going to start getting my temperature up. If I go over here to control, <laughs> the camera is not in the right spot. As you can see, I've got the camera all kind of flowing up. We'll go ahead and put that down where it's supposed to be. Perfect. Okay, now that we're over here by the printer, I just want to point out a few uh, different things. I've got, of course, the Raspberry Pi right over here on the edge, as I've shown before in the past. And I've got hot glued there to the side, and it's just the, the 3D plastic print is actually hot glued right there. The other piece right here is uh, just where the, the action, I can just pull it right off if I need to. And you can see the Raspberry Pi is accessible right through there. So we don't want to pull it off too much or else we're going to mess some stuff up. Um, but it's really, really simple just to do any changes if I need to. Uh, you can see right here we uh, printed a bracelet earlier and you can do that really easily with the TPU material. I'm actually, I'm actually wearing one of the bracelets right now that I printed earlier. It's got the reality check on there, so it's kind of cool. The people have also asked me in the comments about this uh, dual shroud fan right here. As you can see, it does use uh, not only the dual shroud piece on the side, but it's also got that piece in the center right there. Props to the designer of this. It's a very cool design. I happen to like it a lot. And what it does is it just pulls the print uh, fantastically. It really just does a wonderful job in my opinion. And of course it does have a spot over here for a BL Touch if I wanted to add one of those uh, auto levelers. I could do that. I have decided I'm not going to as of this time because it just tends to do a great job and I can you know fix it if I need to. Not only that, but uh, if you were thinking about doing this yourself, what I did was it's got the fan on the side of the original printer. What I did was I just basically took that fan off I, uh, I cut those cables, the power cable, up there at the top, and it's a very simple, you know, I soldered the, the power of each of these new fans as well as the negative of each of the new fans to the, the red and the, the black, you know, the positive and negative of the other one, and, uh, you know, that's all I did. I just threw some electrical, electrical tape on there after the solder was done, and so far it's been working uh, splendid. So, hey, there's uh, no issues right there. Anyways, I hope that uh, looks pretty cool for you. It, it tends to work really great, and what's also nice is, is you can adjust it. You know, it's got a little spot. You can't really see it right here, but that screw that's right in there, that screw actually allows you to adjust the height of it. So, you know, mine's kind of right in the middle. If my nozzle was up higher or lower, I could very easily just kind of scoot the whole piece up and down, and that would just put it in the right spot, right where it needs to be. So that's how you make sure it's getting the right things. Anyway, uh, as you can see, it's just getting the nozzle going. It looks like my bed is just the temperature. So we're about to print some more TPU, some more flexible filament right here on the CR10. And what I'd like to show you guys, okay, here's a basic, basic octopus. And you know, yeah, it's hard. It's very, it's very hard, okay, right? But then we've got the new octopus that I just printed recently. Yep, that's right. It's, it's squishy. It's super, super 
squishy. I think this is awesome. I can just, I can just, you know, it'll, it'll move all. It's like rubber. You can't break it at all. Just a toy. It's like a dog chew toy. Okay, so not only did we make one of those, but we also created uh, a wallet piece, and you can see kind of how glossy. If you print it side down, you can make the flexible material actually like that. Ooh, better move this. It's starting to go there in the background. All right, I'll show you really quickly. Here we have a 3D printed TPU wallet. This is just kind of a prototype print. I did it vertically just to kind of see how it would look, and it actually turned out pretty well. I haven't glued the centerpiece in yet. I can push that down. Uh, we've got a spot in here for, you know, actually a, a battery spot as well as for like four credit cards and an ID. And it's actually pretty sweet. It's, it's clearly indestructible. I could not tear this thing for the life of me. But uh, you can print your own wallet right there. And uh, as you can see right here, we've got a little bit of excess. Oh, did it get it? Did it pick it up? Make sure you watch the beginning of your print. Sometimes you'll have to pick, pick out some pieces of excess. Anyways, uh, right now you can see the TPU is actually just printing just fine. Alright, so here we have the CR10 printing the flexible filament perfectly. Uh, there's really just no issues whatsoever here. And let's go ahead and take a look at this piece right here. You'll see that it is in fact, getting it pushed right in there without any problems. So, awesome. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right now. I just wanted to give you a quick update on how this is working and just a very simple explanation of how the fan and, of course, the pie work. And if you are looking for the links for those, they'll, of course, be in the description. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, bye.